Now we're on that view of it bays, and the Gemara is quoting the Brisa of Rabbi Shimon. Minayin lo yomar adam l'ashem ola, l'ashem mincha, l'ashem todo, l'ashem shlomit. How do we know that a person should not first enunciate the name of God when he wants to be magdish behema, and then add the specific category of the karma? So, for example, a person wants to take an adava of a mincha. He should not say Lashem mincha. He wants to take an adava of an ola. He shouldn't say Lashem ola. Talmud loma karma Lashem. That he shouldn't start with by enunciating the name of God, but rather he should first start with the word karma. Now, the Torah should have said Lashem karma, but the Torah went out of its way to reverse the order and say Karban Lashem. And the Torah wants you to first mention the name Karban because we have a chashash, we're afraid that if he mentions the name of God first, he might change his mind and never accept upon himself the Karban. He's being Motsi Shem Shemayim Lovatol. The Kalvachomer, Umaze, a person who's Magdish at Karban. Shalom is Kavin, Elaz, Gishem Shemayim Al Karban. And even though he has the right intentions to mention the name of God and attach it to Karban, Omer Torah, nevertheless, the Torah was afraid lest he might drop the word Karban and say Lashem, and therefore he shouldn't say Lashem Karban, rather Karban Lashem is Lavatola. When a person takes a nether and he wants to prohibit himself from eating a Karban, that's called Shalom and Sora, is Allah has come with Kama, he should be very careful and he should not mention the name of God. And then go on to say, karma. So again, when a person has an adava, that's a pressing need for a key of mitzvah's nedava. But in the case of a karma, of a, of a neder, that's considered shalol, it's our klal. And therefore, how much more so should he be very careful not to be mostly shem shamayim. Hence, Reish Lakish's principle, that Lashen shem baruch hachamim liyos no jumahem, to avoid the possible shash and takola of being motzi shem shemayim vato. The Gemara says, Lema kitanoi. Is it possible that the machlokis between Rabbi Yochir and Shlokish about the definition and the essence of kinuyim is in fact the machlokis tanoim, an earlier machlokis between Beis Yisrael Beit Shama? Beit Shama omrim kinuye kinuyim asur. Beis Yisrael omrim Kinuye Kinuye Mutarim. The Machlokis here between Beit Shammai and Beit Hillel addresses the issue of a Kinuye of a Kinuye. That means he was Meshabesh, even a Lushan Kinuye. And Beit Shammai argues that that is considered a Kinuye. And it has the same status as a Kinuye. Once we've already expanded the language of Nidarim to include Kinuye, we'll include in a Kinuye of a Kinuye as well. Because, again, if you're talking about Lashon Umos Ha'olam, and that's why it's called a Kinui, then what about words that are used in that particular language, which are themselves Kinui? In other words, let's say uh, in Italian you would use a certain word, but the slang of that word is called a kinui. That's a kinui of a kinui because according to Rabbi Yochanan, kinuyim are other languages. So a kinui of a kinui is a bastardization of that language. And if that's the way the people speak in Italy, then that's a valid language. But they still reject it. And they say kinui, kinuyim is not a valid Easter neder, my love, man the Omer according to Beisil El Beishama, excuse me, kinu kinu masur kasovar. He holds Beishama hold like Beis Rabbi Yochanan that kinu yim lashen umosayim. So if amongst the umos they have a sofa of kinu yim, which is not a lashen brura, rather a lashen shibush, that should be a valid kinu. Ule man the Omer Beisil hold. Mutarim kasavar loshen shebarulem chacham. The chachamim 
have created a certain language, certain words that are meant to replace carbon and nether and shrua and aziris, those words and dafka those words are functional and meaningful and valid for a lashon of a nether, but not a kinui of the lashon shabbat olam chachomim. The rush adds something very important. He says that according to Beit Shammai, holding like Rabbi Yochanan that kinuim al lashon umos, that's a neder doraisa. The Rabbanan are now going to make a gzera that would expand it to kinui of kinui. They still, on the other hand, hold like Reish Lakish that chacham barulem chacham baru es hakinuim. So it means that he, that. According to Reish Lakish, Kiri itself is a Zera and a Durabona. So to add Kiri of a Kiri, meaning a Zera, a Zera, that far we're not going to go. But again, this is all the Rush Lushitaso, that the Rush back on that Gimel takes a position that according to Reish Lakish, Kiri is a Durabona. However, the Ran, on the other hand, holds that even according to Reish Lakish, Kiri is a Doraisa, because once the Chachamim created these Lashonos, then that becomes a Lashon Neder, and his Neder is valid on a Doraisa level. So you can't say that Kinu Kinuyim is a Gzera Gzera according to the Rad. This only works according to the Rush. And now the Gemara rejects this interdependence. Lo, there's nothing that compels us to assume that the Machlokas Beisil Beit Shammai is identical with the Machlokas of Yochanan and Reish Lokish. The Kuli Alba, we could possibly Maintain that whether it's Beit Shammai, Beit Silel, even Beit Silel hold like Rabbi Yochanan Kinui of Lashon Umo said. Beit Shammai sovri b'hani nami mishtoi Umo. It's quite common for the Umo Olam in their language, like we gave the example of it, an Italian, that they use Kinui, they mishabish their own language. But that's also considered a Lashon Neder. But Beit Silel sovri. Bahani lo mishtai umos, like umos don't use these shibushin. And therefore, that's not considered a kinui of a nether. It's a kinui of a kinui, and it's not ikar aloshon, and it's not valid for the dharma. So the Rashba is bothered by this. He says, what is this, amachlokis bimitsius? Do the Umos Olam speak in words that are kinuyim of their own language? Does Beis Hillel not know that the Umos Olam use those kinuyim? There's no one, according to Beis Hillel, there's no one amongst those Umos that will use kinuyim of their own language? Therefore, says the Rashba, invoking the Ran that we saw at the beginning of the Mesechta, that what are Kinuyim, according to Rabbi Yochanan? They themselves are Shibushe Lasha. Why? Because these Kinuyim were words that were adopted by the Umos Ha'olam that are really Lasha Kodesh, the Shibushim of Lasha Kodesh. They took the word Karban, which is Lasha Kodesh, and they made it into Kona. Therefore, Kinuye Kinuyim are really Shibushim of Kinuyim, and Kinuyim themselves are Shibushim. Therefore, they still maintain that it's not logical that a shibush of a shibush should be considered a lashon, should be upgraded to the valid state, legal state of a lashon, and should be valid for the dharma. Ibai same the Gemara offers another possibility. Both Beisil and Beit Shammai hold like Rabbi Yochanan that a kinu is a lashon umos, but Beit Shammai sabri gazrinon kinu kinu yemishum kinu yim. The Chachamim made exera to expand. The nether from Kinuyim to Kinuy Kinuyim and Basil Sabri Logaz Rinon. We're not going to accept that the Chacham made Xera of Kinuy Kinuyim, Mishum Kinuyim. Hechi Domi Kinuy Kinuyim Dinidorum. What be a Kinuy of a Kinuy? Tony Rav Yosef. Rav Yosef taught us the Kanamona, that's a Kinuy to Kono. The Kanachna is a Kinuy to Konea. And a kanasna is a kinu to konos.
And the Rosh here introduces a concept called Muflogim Be'ilug Medabrabin. That there are people who are even one step beyond Ilug Lashon, and they're they're Muflogim Be'ilug. Others say that these are the osios of the kinuyim the seder afu. It's turned around in terms of the order and the sequence of the list. Peki domi kinuyim kinuyim becherim. Honey, we learned mafsha'a, charachim, and charachim and charachim. So Mavsha is the name of a Chacham. So Tony Mavsha, like we saw before, Tony Rav Yosef, he taught us Charakim, which is a kiri of Charek. Charachim is a kiri of Charek. And Charachim is a kiri of Charek. What are the kiri kiri of Nazirus? Tony Rav Yosef. Rav Yosef taught us Machzakna. That's a kiri with Nozik. You see where the letters are switched around. And man zachna is a kiri of naziach. And ma pishna, ma pishacha, I'm sorry, ma pichana is a kiri of pazich. Or pazia. Ibailahu, what's the status of mi mif chazna? Mif chazna, man. Or Miss has not man. Miss has not man. Are these languages kinuye kinuyim of Nazirus? So again, as we said before, in the name of the Rosh, these are muflagim beilug shemedabrim. Only those who are really, really, you know, they slang shemes slang. Amalei, another question that was raised, Ravina raised her of Ashi. Kinma man. How do we interpret the word kinma? Because kin, kinma is also a spice. Konam kamar, he means to use the language of kona, which is a kini for neder, for karbon. Oh, Dilma, perhaps he didn't have any intention. Again, we're not talking about this individual and what's in his brain. When we talk about the kavana of the node, we're talking about the kavana that is inherent in his language. Maybe it's kinamon basam, which is listed at the end of Sefer Shmos amongst the 11 Samone Torahs. That's what it means. Now, the Akronim asked the following question later on. This is already before we haven't gotten to Daphne Chesam and Bays. The Gemara. Formulates a principle in the Durham, Stam the Durham Lahachmir. So if we don't know whether he has in mind Konam or Kinmon, which is cinnamon, then we should be Machmir. And yet the Gemara here leaves it as an open ended question. Omalei Rav Acha Breder of Rav Ashi, Rav Acha asked Rav Ashi the following question, Kino Mai. Kino with a Kuf. Kino with a Chaf has a totally different meaning. What are the two possibilities of Kino? It might be Loshen Kono, or perhaps Kino Shal Tardigolim Koma. It's a chicken coop. Or do Loshen Kono. Any more answers, T boy? Tiboy means we leave it as an open-ended suffer. So I'm tempted to think, I didn't see this explicitly, maybe you have this in your commentaries, that we'd have to be machmir because of suffering. Kinuye kinuyim de shvua hechidom. Shvuel, shvusiel, and shkukael. Shkukael. So Shvuel and Shvusil are kinuyim of Shvusa. Shkukail is a kinuyim of Shkuka. The Gemara asks, what about Shvuel? 
I don't understand. How could Shmuel be a Kiri for Shmusa? Shmuel is the name of a person in Tanakh. If I'm not mistaken, it's in Direi Yomim. Direi Yomim, Perk uh, Aleph, Perk of Vov, who Shmuel ben Gershon Nogid Al HaOtsros. This guy was in charge of the of the uh, the uh, storehouses of money. What what what's the word for Otsar in, in English? Um, you know where they where they lock up. You know, like Fort Knox. Now it doesn't make sense that if you use the name of a person, that's indicative of a shmua. Where answers Ella. What are the kinui kinuim of a shvua? Is shvu ba'el or shvu siel or shvu koel? Mahu. So he takes out shvuel, which is the name of a person, and it says shvu ba'el. And again, it's an unanswered question, mahu. Now, on that word mahu, we have a whole lineup of, of uh, Commentaries. The Bach, for example, takes out the word mahu because these are defined by the Gemara as kinuye kinuye. And kinuye kinuye is my focus based on Beit Shammai. So we're not going to say mahu. The Rashash claims that mahu is the name of a chacham, but that's rejected. And the Rashash at the end comes to the conclusion that mahu is man de who, meaning it's someone, an anonymous person who's quoting Shmuel. And the Shalmi Nidarim, one of the later Achronim, he says that maybe Mahu is a kiri for Mohi, which we saw in the Mishnah, that Mohi is a valid language of Shmuel, because that's the Shmuel of Moshe. Omar Shmuel im Omar Ashivta. Lo Omar Chlum, Ashivta does not qualify as a kinu of a kinu of a shvur. And likewise, Ashkika, Lo Omar Chlum. Or Karishna, Karincha, Karinsa, Lo Omar Chlum. These are not kinu kinu. Tanya, we learned in a brisa. Ah, Nadar Bimoi, the Vishnu says that if he takes a Nadar Bimoi, a Rei Elu kinu. These are kinuyim of the Shmua. However, the Brisa quotes from Shimon Gamliel as a dissenting view. And he says, how Omer bin Moi lo Omer Klu. But the mom saw the Omar Mohi, Hare Elu Kinuyim In other words, if he just says Mohi, that's Moshe Rabbeinu, that's not a valid Shvur. It doesn't seem like he's taking a Shvur of Moshe. But if he adds the word the Momsa, the Omar Mohi, the Momsa means Shvur in Aramaic. So it's the Shvur that Moshe recited. That's a valid Kinui for a shvuah because Moshe Rabbeinu did take a shvuah. And finally, just to end the daf for today, we look at the Mishnah of Matvis bin Indari. There are two ways a person could take a neder. He could either say, Dover Zed, this kikar, Olai Kikarban, that's called Hatfasa. He's taking the Kedushas carbon and he's expanding it and extending it to this Kika. And then he could take a neder without that fuss. He could say, Dover ze Osir Olai. So the mission is now going to give us a list of valid Lashonos of neder al yudayat In which case, the neder is valid and binding. Ha'omer lachulim. Lachulin means karmon. Why does lachulin mean karmon? The lamid is like a negative sign, lochulin. And lochulin means a karmon. 
So if he adds sha'ocha lecha, he means that that which I'll eat from your food should be like a carbon. And that's a valid loshan at posam. And the neder is cha. Another, another possibility is he says that what I eat from you is low kosher. It should not be kosher. Or low dochi, which means low toma. Now, I'm a little bit perplexed here because the Masifta in his introduction to this Mishnah says that Mishnah Zu Mivia Lishonos Hamo Ilim Al Yideat Fosam. But in the cases of Lo Kosher or Lo Dachi, right, that's not at Fosam. There's no indication that he's being Machdis in the Karbon. He's just saying Dover is there also a lot. Low kosher means it's also. I can't eat it. Low dochi, it's tummy. Or for example, the tummy, if he says that which I'll eat from you should be tummy. Do you, do you have anything on that? I, I, I think I think I'm saying the right thing, but I'd love to see somebody say it. We're not talking about at fossa in these cases. Can you Rabbi, could you read to me what your what your you know commentary has on this? Unfortunately, I don't which, know. Which word, yeah. which, which word are you looking at here? They're just in the Mishnah when it says low kosher or low dachi or or oh, low Twenty-four, twenty-five. Lashon tahor mishamish mutar. Kvish katuv kol tzipor tahor, v'kanal tzipor hamutar v'achila. But he doesn't. No. He doesn't ask whether it's hatfasa or not hatfasa. No, the hatfasa isn't there as a term at all. So I have a feeling, again, this is Lefianius Daiti. Maybe the Gemara is going to pick this up later on. I don't know. That these Lashonas are not Hatfasa. If he says Lachulin, then he means Karma. And that's being Matvis, Masha Okalacha, as a Karma. But if he says Lokasher, well, Lotar, Lodachi, I don't see that that's uh, or Tame. I don't see that that's a lotion of at foster. That to me is Ikra and Nether without at foster. Oh, now he says no, sir. No, sir, already is at foster. Now we're back to at foster because a carbon that has passed this man of Achila is Osur Midin no, sir. And he's saying that that which I'll eat from you is like the the uh, Kedushas Karbon that became Nosa, or Pigul, right? If, if uh, he had a Machshav of Chutzim Zman or Chutzim Kom at the time of the Avoda, so that generates an Easter Karis of Pigul. And now he's being Machshav in the Kedushas Karbon that ultimately led to Pigul. All right, so this we're going to have to see Vaita in the Gemara. In any event, the Mishnah says Asa. So the Mishnah divides itself into a Rasha and a Sefer, and the Rasha ends with the word Asa. Now he has Ki Imra. He says that this Kikar should be for me like a Se, right? A little lamb, that's Imra. And he has in mind a Se of a Karma. So he's being Machvisid. In Kedushas Karma. Then he says, Kikar Zelai Kedirim. So the Karbonos used to be placed waiting for Shvit on the Mizbeach, the Avodah's Mizbeach in Dirim. The Beis Amigdash had Dirim. Right? So these were chambers where they kept the 
Carbonos. So he has in mind that the kikar should be like a carbon. Ke'etzim. So this is Shnei Gizri Eitzim Sha'alam Arocha. And they too have a Kedushas Mizbeach. And he's being matvis in Kedushas Mizbeach. Ke'ishim. Like the fires on the Mizbeach or to Mizbeach. Which means the carbonos that are brought on the Mizbeach or the Shalheves that is going to burn the carbonus on the Mizbech. It's all a reference to carbonus. Kehechal means like the carbonus that are brought in the Hechal, in the base of Midrash. Ki All right, Yushalayim is ready. Machlokes Tadnoi. So the Tanakama holds that Yushalayim, Ki Yushalayim means like the carbonus that are brought in Yushalayim. And that's how possible carbon. Nada bi'echa mikol m'sham she Mizbech. Apo pishlo hizki a carbon. Areze. So what's Misham Shem is back? These are clay shares like Mizukos or Machtos or Mazlagos that are all used in the context of Karbonos. So these Kalim all have a relationship to Karbon. In fact, they are purchased from the monies of the Chumas Halishka, and therefore, insofar as these are relationships to carbon, even though he didn't mention the word carbon in any of the cases mentioned in the Mishnah, but nevertheless, we understand from his words that he's being no different carbon. Rabbi the Omer, Omer Yushalayim, Omer Kluk. If he says the word Yushalayim instead of Ki Yushalayim, he drops the Chaf, then He's being marked this in Yerushalayim itself, which is a Dover Asr and not a Dover Anon. So that's the Mishnah here on the bottom of Daf Yudom and Beis. And tomorrow, Mirza Shem, for Shabbos, we have uh, Daf Yud Al. So I wish you a wonderful, a wonderful Shabbos.